Thank you very welcome. Hit the buttons if you so choose. Hey! <laughs> Seems to be that time, isn't it? It's that time when uh, Taoiseachs down south decide to terrorise and frighten loyalists up north. Yes, Leah Radker has announced this week that he believes a united Ireland is now inevitable. Indeed, it's going to happen in his lifetime. Oh, they're building barricades on the shankle as I speak. But this is, this is, this is, this is a strange one. Strange one, because for 100 years, 100 years, politicians down south did a very good job of ignoring that there was a northern part of their island. Not one shout did they give. Not one shout for 100 years. Indeed, our Leo himself, well, well he said back, when was it, in June of this year, that, 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 that uh, no, it wasn't the right time to even talk about a united Ireland. That it was away in the distant future. So, I'm trying to work out, why has Leo Varadkar suddenly discovered Republican credentials? Why has he now become a born-again Republican? Could it possibly, possibly have anything to do with the fact that Sinn Féin are in the ascendancy in the Republic and there's an election coming up. It couldn't be that crass, could it? He couldn't want their mix up here and God knows start all sorts of trouble just to win a few votes down there. Oh, I'm being cynical, Jake. Grumpy old cynical Jake. Well, you decide for yourselves. Yeah. And as far as the unionists up here who are considering buying tickets for the Stranraer ferry, relax. <laughs> you understand? There you go, our Lero, he's uh, probably got about another two or three thousand votes. And uh, maybe meet Jimmy Brayson, he's pulling his hair out. Jimmy's pulling his hair out. And he's got no fucking hair. So what, what about, have a thought for Jimmy, will you? Jimmy's, Jimmy's pulling hair out, that isn't even, I don't even know where the hair's getting pulled out.